Top of the morning, guys. Welcome to Cassie Tarot. God bless. We are in Advent now, the tech countdown until our Lord and Jesus Christ was born in a manger, right? So let's start out with a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. Akhmadama Jama. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in our day of battle. Protect us against the deceit and wickedness of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, banish into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Akhmadama Jama. And our guardian angel, O oh, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light your guard to rolling guide. So let's get this crack a lacking. If you have a question, how about we pose that question as we, with a full heart, come before Jesus, thankful for his son, Jesus Christ. Ach, madame, pajama. Uh, I have a question in mind, my own self. Father, in the name of Jesus, please give us an answer positive to our questions, please. Please give us an answer to our questions. Guys, I've been working, so I'm sorry. I've been kind of busy, but I love you guys, and God bless. Reconsider. Now, I don't know what your question was, but let's pull two more cards, okay? It says let go on the bottom, so that's easy in the sense that let go and let God. Sometimes we try and force our own will. Father, in the name of Jesus, what's coming towards us in love? Oh, shit compromise perhaps this is someone from your past and you're going to come to a meeting of minds unlikely i am a positive reader so just raise your vibrations in the name of jesus okay and here's a resounding no you never know. God has so much better for you than we could ever think, dream, or hope for. So let's have faith in him. Let's get one more card. Father, in the name of Jesus, peaceful resolution. So whatever the problem may be, the Lord will work it out. Now, guys, I want to jump into some tarot. Uh... We're going to use these cards right here. They're by, I believe, Chrisanne. Uh, but they're quite beautiful. So I just want to say, um, have a good day. God bless. Put God first. And Jesus is the reason for the season, not the commercialism, right? And please try and remember someone that may be sick and shut in or that has a lack of friends, right? Raise our vibrations in Christ, right? Hallelujah. What's coming towards us in love, Lord? What is coming towards us in love? Akhmadama Jama. I see the ace of what pentacles? Lord, what's coming towards us in love? The Eight of Pentacles, someone's working hard, the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. The Five of Pentacles, maybe the Poverty card, someone was left out in the cold or bad health. I also th see the Three of Cups, that's a um, celebration, maybe a birth in a family. Okay, guys, we're going to go with these cards and give you a story. The Six of Swords, someone's moving from choppy waters to calm waters. The Seven of Cups, this is illusions, delusions, choices, um, daydreams, night dreams, but choose wisely. The Nine of Cups, this is a lot of damn love, but you know what, it's the wish card. So with the Seven of Cups, guys, drink a lot of water 
the Seven of Wands being triumphant against so many odds with the Five of Wands, which is conflict, the Six of Wands, which is everyone knowing how good you are and being paraded through town, and the Seven of Wands, God is protecting you. The Wheel of Fortune, High Arcana, the end of delays, karma, and fate. Everything that you put out is coming towards you. Fortune and a hell of a lot of blessings. The eye of heaven has opened, and God is raining blessings. This three of cups could be a birth in the family, but it's a celebration. The chariot, this person is coming back. Judgment, the resurgence of a um, relationship that you may have thought was over. The knight of pentacles, the most reliable at Pentacles is everything to do with the home and family, so harness this energy. This person was in your past, and it was a missed opportunity, but they're your two of cups. I breathe you in, you breathe me in. You and your higher self, they're coming back with the four of wands. Walk through the portal, because either this was a marriage, or it could lead to marriage. The Queen of Swords, this is honesty and truth, cutting out what doesn't serve you, people, places, and things, being single and abundant, rest and recuperation, someone here has ascended, this is um, a stalemate or a truce and working very hard. From being left out in the cold, whoever was left is ascended now so that they're in control. With the Hierophant, with their high standards, they broke those generational curses. The Nine of Swords, the almost, everything is almost over, right? The Page of Wands, here's someone's offering this spark, this inspiration, right? This They want to be with you. And it's balance, right? The paradigm shift. So someone is coming. Let's ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, who is this wish, this person that's coming? Amen. This ascended person from our past. Akma, Dama, Jama. I, they're stalking you. And they've already checked out with love coming your way. Amen. The Two of Cups. This is you and your higher self. The Wish. Whoever's coming, you're both wishing for each other. Who is this Wish card? Your Two of Cups. Amen. And Single and Abundant. There's so many pentacles. God is so damn good. Generational wealth. This is justice. The scales are being equal. And they work and want to work together with you, God, the Holy Spirit, through ascension. And here's the celebration. Au revoir. God bless you guys. Ciao. Lead with your heart.